Hello everyone, today I want to show you how you can create YAML files for your resources directly from running kubectl commands. This uh, trick or skill is not only important for your uh, CKAD exam, it is absolutely necessary because they will ask you to create resources and even though you can look it up, look up some of the examples online on Kubernetes.io website, it is much faster and quicker, uh, much faster and easier to generate uh, YAML files directly from kubectl because you don't have to leave your uh, command line to do it. So right now I'm, I'm connect. Let's just uh, set that set the alias up for kubectl. I am connected to a cluster of five nodes. I don't need five nodes, but I just happen to have them. Um, so let's say that I want to run a pod. I don't even know the syntax. So I just do k run minus h to get examples of commands. So let's just say this is what I want, what I want to run. Mm -hmm. All I have to do is add this option, dash dash dry run equals client and minus o yaml for yaml output. What you will see is it gives you an yaml file that you can save and run against to run the exact same pod that you would running you would, you would be running um, from uh, from the kubectl command that you that you saw. Let's say that I want to create a service account. So let's just say okay, create sa for service account minus h for help, and there are some examples. So let's just say this is example I want to run. Except I don't want to actually run it. I want to create the YAML file for creating the same exact thing. It's the same command minus dry run equals client minus o it's o equals yaml it gives me the yaml uh, file for running creating the same thing this is true for almost any resources that you can reuse um, in fact i don't even know of a, of a case where you can't do this if you can run something, create something using kubectl command, you can take that command, add these two parameters, dry run client, yeah, minus o yaml, and you will get the exact same resource yaml in the yaml format. Hope this was useful. To, this was useful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe. That helps me with the YouTube algorithm, and I will see you next time.